Before we begin, I do just want to give a very special happy birthday shout out to my buddy Parker. I was actually lucky enough to meet him this summer. He's a big fan of the Ek Hockey channel and a super cool guy. So hopefully you watch this video, but again, man, happy birthday. Hope it's a great one and you get whatever you want from your family. Also, I've got a special little care package coming your way, but on with the video. Yesterday, we talked about the Ottawa Senators being fined a first round draft pick for their role in the Dodonov trade controversy. If you're not familiar with that, check the video I did yesterday because I'm not going to really be recapping the key issues. What is new, however, is the response from Ottawa Senators owner, Michael Andlauer, and that is new Ottawa Senators owner as well. He inherited this mess and he is now went on to take direct shots at the NHL. And I chose my words carefully there. Inherited. One of the key clips going around was him in a press conference yesterday saying, why I inherited this is beyond me. A lot of people have had quippy little remarks. Well, you bought the team. Of course, you're getting their issues. And sure, if you're going to pick out one little part of the press conference in isolation, yeah, you can get a couple points that way. However, his greater point is that he did his due diligence when buying the team. And he has major issues with how the Dodonov situation was portrayed. First of all, he questions why it took 18 months, and more importantly, after the sale of the team for Gary Bettman in the NHL to adjudicate this matter. And he's completely right. He says there's no reason to last this long. There isn't. Administratively, this is not in line with expectations, especially where such a major penalty has been dolled out. He suggests, and I find this quite disturbing, that it's possible that the NHL didn't want to disrupt the sale of the team. Also saying that he did his due diligence and was not expecting such a harsh penalty. And this is very serious. Would the Dodonov situation have canceled the sale of the team? Probably not, but it very seriously could have affected the value he was willing to pay for a team about to lose a major asset, a first round draft pick. If the NHL did plan things this way, it's extremely shady. And from an administrative law standpoint, point, he may have a legal claim against the league. Owners in the NHL don't usually speak about the league like this. Elliot Friedman was on Jeff Merrick's show today. He talked about how Michael Andlauer is almost taking the Mark Cuban role here, and the league deserves to be called out. Even if you do think the penalty is fair, there's no reason for the timing to be like this. And for me personally, I don't think the penalty is fair. And people are also complaining about the NHL's lack of communication. And don't forget, the Ottawa Senators did all also just get dinged with the Shane Pinto thing. We don't know the exact details, but it seems more and more like Shane Pinto was probably using a proxy to gamble when he was out of certain jurisdictions. Not on hockey games still, but 41 games for that also seems excessive and more something that the gambling companies would want to be concerned about. I just find it funny that in 2022, New Jersey fined DraftKings $150,000 for allowing proxy gambling, which that might as well not even be a fine. Shane Pinto's loss of 41 games of salary is significantly more than 150k. Overall, I'd be very frustrated as Michael Anlauer. He was a minor owner in the Montreal Canadiens, so it's not like he's new to the NHL's shenanigans, but he's really been hit several times here, and I can't say I feel bad for him. I mean, he owns a sports team, but it doesn't feel fair. As another huge angle to this story, Ottawa did also fire GM Pierre Dorian because of this situation. Right now, Steve Steos is sitting in as interim general manager and again, if you're about to buy a sports team and you know you'll have to replace the GM less than halfway through the first season, it's going to take a drop in value. Kind of funny. 